Hi, let's talk about order of operations. So with a simple equation like this, um, if we didn't have any rules of what to do first, we could do this two different ways, right? So we could, one option is to just add the eight and three first, get 11, multiply that by four and get 44. Another way to do that if we didn't have any rules of what to do first is we could multiply the three times the four get 12, add that to eight and get 20. So obviously getting two different answers for the same problem in math uh, really isn't that acceptable. So that's where order of operations come in. So in order to do it one way and that everybody's doing the same thing, um, order of operations gives us um, what to do first, second and third. And that's what we're gonna talk about here today. Um, so we're going to get into order of operations, define it a little more, and then do some examples on that as well. So PEMDAS is an acronym used to help remember the order, parentheses, exponents, multiplication, division, addition, and subtraction. And we just work in this order. So parentheses being the first thing that we do. So if we look back on that example from the first page, based on this, we would do multiplication before we would do addition. So we, we would do the three times the four first, then add it to eight, and the correct answer for that problem would be 20. So when we look at PEMDAS, we've got six different operations, but we only have four different levels because multiplication and division are at the same level. And addition and subtraction are at the same level. Some people make the mistake of doing multiplication before division because the M comes before the D in the acronym but we would first do parentheses then we would do exponents then multiplication and division and then the fourth thing would be subtraction and addition all right so it's just we need to remember that multiplication and division we don't even though it's written the m before the d always remember that these two go together and these two go together all right, so what do we do when we have multiplication and division? How do we decide which one goes first? Well, if we have just multiplication and division, like in this first one, then we just go left to right. So three times four is 12. Do that one first. Then we move in from the left to right. 12 divided by two is six. And then our final answer here would be 30. Same thing with addition and subtraction. We've got addition and subtraction all on the same line. We just go left to right. So that's what we do first. Then the next one, we go 5 plus 2. Our final answer being 1. All right, so let's take a look at four different problems. Um, they get increasingly more difficult. So the first problem, we do not have any parentheses or exponents. So that all that's involved in the first problem is doing multiplication and division before we do addition and subtraction. So in a problem like this, we would just make sure that we do the multiplication and the division first. All right. Okay, on the next one, we don't have um, exponents, but we start off with parentheses. So when you've got things in parentheses, all of this is like a separate equation by itself. So in there, we've got to do the same order of operations. So within the parentheses, we then have to do multiplication before addition. So the first step is going to be in the parentheses, but even within the parentheses that we then have to order these. So we're going to do the two times the three and get six. Then we've got to finish parentheses at the top level. So we've got to finish the parentheses. And now we have everything addition and subtraction. So we can just go left to right at this point. So six plus 16 is 22. 22 minus four is gonna get us 18 on this one. All right. Third problem adds a little trick here. Sometimes you will see parentheses inside of parentheses. Now I've got these, I've got one as square and one as round just to show you the difference. But sometimes they'll even be written as 
same type of parentheses, round and round in both of them. So this is like a separate problem, and then this is like a separate problem inside of that. So with parentheses that are nested like this, you've got to work from the inside out. So the first thing we're going to do is this 6 plus the 2. All right. Then we've got to continue with these parentheses. The 10 minus 8 has to be done next because those are both within the parentheses. So we get 10 minus 8, and we're going to get 2 there. All right. Now we move down. We've got division, multiplication. The 3 times the 2 is multiplication and subtraction. So we've got to do the multiplication and the division next, and we're going to do left to right. So 3 minus 2 is going to be 6. And then we do the division before this fraction. 18 minus 3. And then our final answer here is going to be 15. All right, let's try this final last one. It's got a lot of everything going on here. Um, let's just take it in order. So parentheses, exponents, multiplication, division, addition, subtraction. So first thing is parentheses. So we've got to do, before we do anything else, we've got to do all of this first. Within that, we've got to do multiplication before addition or subtraction. So now we've got to finish up within our parentheses. Parentheses are always first. And this becomes 4. Now we can move down to exponents. So we've got one exponent, 3 squared. So we're going to simplify that to 9. All right now we've got multiplication. Remember, two things next to each other means multiplication. So 9 and 4 are going to be multiplied. We've got to do that before the addition and subtraction. So 40 minus 36 plus 5. And now we just have everything on the same level because uh, addition and subtraction are on the same level, so we just move left to right. 40 minus 36 is 4, and then 4 plus 5 gives us our final answer, or 9. And there we go. Thanks for watching. If you'd want to watch more, I've got another suggested video for you right here. And if it is your first time here, please do subscribe right over here.